to the Coco Wa Crafts YouTube channel and I'm doing one of my uh, Coco Wa patterns reviews. Uh, so at the beginning of 2022, I decided to highlight one pattern each month and uh, last month I didn't have the time to um, do the video for the Lily blouse and dress so I'm doing that now and I'm gonna join you to the honeycomb uh, dress and shirt as well uh, so I'm going to do both of them together one after the other and yeah I will be highlighting the two patterns and I will be talking about fabric options and the techniques that are involved that I think you will uh, like to know more about and maybe if you're a beginner it would be you know nice for you to just check uh, which new techniques you might learn and that you can use on other projects so yeah uh, that's what I'm going to do today so hopefully you will like the video let's start okay so I have the two Lily samples here um, so Lily I think it was the first Coco Mawa pattern and um, I really wanted to make a pattern with a sailor collar. Bum, here it is. Um, so I made two versions and I designed two versions. One is a blouse uh, or sort of top and the other one is a dress. Um, so for example, in this version, uh, you have a button placket at the front, but I did it a little bit different in this sample. I just wanted to play with the front and do like a couple of folds and I did just two fake buttons. So it's not really like a proper uh, button placket working or anything. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, do something a little bit different with, with this sample. Uh, you can see the collar here at the back. So it's not like the traditional sailor collar that you, you know, you tie at the front. Uh, it's, it's more like a pointy, which I think is very on trend at the moment. And for this sample, I use piping. Um, so to make it a little bit more different, you can see it here at the back. Uh, also, uh, other things that the uh, design has is raglan sleeves, which I think is great uh, if you have never done raglan sleeves before. I think it's a good opportunity for you to work on that. You have the option of long sleeves uh, and then short sleeves as well, of course, and you can do um, like these sort of cuffs. Uh, they are not like shirt cuffs, they are more like, you know, just around and then you do gathers at the bottom of the sleeves uh, to make it look uh, extra cute and yeah the, the shape is very simple of the blouse is more straight uh, of the dress I will show you it's more like a cocoon shape um, so yeah and in this case you have on the pattern it comes with a facing to finish the neckline but in this case I finish it with a uh, bias binding which I think is my favorite way of finishing any uh, neckline in general um, and even armholes or you know when it's sleeveless I really like that technique um, so this is the blouse version and I use a uh, kind of um, medium weight cotton for this one. I will tell you more about other types of fabrics that you can use. And then this is a version that I've made recently using a lovely linen. So this one is perfect for uh, spring or early summer. And of course this one has long sleeves as well, but you can do short sleeves. And this one comes with elastic on the um, uh, on the cuffs, it's like at the end of the sleeves, uh, on the hem instead of the traditional cuff. I wanted, uh, this technique is also one that I really love just to use some elastic to finish the sleeves. I think it looks really cute. And I'm seeing this thread in here and I just need to cut it. I cannot continue with the video um, if I don't cut this because, you know, that's that's how, how it goes. That's how I am. So I really need to cut any thread I see when I teach. I'm just going off course, but that's fine. Um, when I teach, honestly, and I see some of my students is leaving all the threads till the end. It just drives me. Like, I just can't see all those threads hanging around, so I always need to cut them. Anyway, uh, let's get back to Lily. So this one, it does have the button placket, so not like this one. So this one, I followed like all the instructions properly of my own instructions. So you have the a small button placket. You can do it fox, so it doesn't need to be a real um, button holes and anything. So uh, because you can 
put it uh, put it in on and off easily without that of course you need to check but I think in general it's quite an open uh, like bold type, type of uh, type of uh, neckline and I did the buttons and then the uh, color here which is super cute and the shape of the dress which has inseam pockets of course is like a cocoon shape I think it's very very comfortable to wear and at the back it's got like a seam running along the back because I wanted to on the blouse as well I wanted to just create some sort of break on the whole design because if not it was going to be more like plain um, so yeah, I wanted to do something else and this one, uh, when I sent it to testers, some of them um, added a belt because they prefer to um, to do that, uh, to make it look, you know, uh, a closer fit. So in general, it's more like a loose, comfy type of dress, unshared, you know, that I love that kind of, um, that kind of designs. Um, but of course, you can make it fit, uh, fit more fitted if you... Um, just add a belt, uh, for example, so that could look really cute. So these are the two uh, samples and I think regarding techniques, apart from learning how to do a partial button placket, which is interesting, it's not like the whole normal button placket, it's like partial button placket, that would be really nice if you want to learn that. You will learn also how to add facings to a collar or bias binding also piping around the collar as well and you will see all that on the instructions and on the youtube tutorial there is a youtube tutorial for each pattern and this one has one as well and you can also learn how to do gathers and add cuffs and also add the elastic instead of the instead of the cuffs um and the uh, raglan sleeves which i think they're really really nice and it's not something that you find um in general uh in many patterns so many patterns more like a set in a sleeve or a drop down a sleeve or something like that but not not as many i think uh you can find with uh, raglan and sleeves um so yeah i think those are the main uh techniques and also of course inseam pockets if you have never done inseam pockets before then you will learn those um but in general i think is a good pattern for beginners if you want to learn some more new techniques uh, ones that maybe uh, you have never encountered before um, and then for the fabrics uh, I use for this linen and cotton I think those are great and if you want to do like a, pre a spring summer version you know uh, spring is here now and summer is coming so uh, you can do um, those two if you want a more structure uh, feeling of, on your dress. You can do denim as well, uh, maybe a chambray or lighter denim for spring and summer. Uh, I wouldn't go maybe for viscose or rayon or something very drapey or thin because it might lose the structure of the dress and I don't think it would look as nice. So something that is more medium weight would look really nice. And then if you want to make something for winter, you can of course go for corduroy, needle cord, uh, those type of fabrics. I think they would look really nice. Not something very, very, very thick. So I think medium weight fabrics are the way to go with uh, Lily. Um, so yeah, this is Lily. Oh, here it is, Lily. Hello. Uh, I think it's my only pattern that I didn't name after, um, I don't know, something, this is a flower, right? So it's, I think it's the only one, the rest are more like or a woman's name or person's name. Um, but uh, yeah, the rest are more like something to do with eating or <laughs> I don't know, things that I like. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is Lily and yeah, hopefully you will... Uh, like to make Lily, you will find all the information on the description box regarding where to get the pattern and also some inspirational posts and uh, another one about uh, the pattern itself, the sizes, everything. So yeah, this one uh, doesn't come in a, uh, on the um, extended size range, but it will come at some point, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Um, there are many patterns and, and the last ones you know that I've already released on the new uh, extended size range and then a couple of uh, the most popular ones um, but yeah it's a whole process that takes a lot of time and money so yeah bear with me and it will be there um, but always please check the uh, measurements uh, the chart with the measurements and then with the final garment measurements so that you see 
how much ease there is in the pattern and maybe you will be surprised because yeah my patterns are quite you know uh they have quite a lot of ease so maybe hopefully you will fit in there um before i release the extended size range uh on this uh, particular pattern um so yeah that's it for lily and now we are going to talk about honeycomb which is one of the kogowawa bestsellers Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to talk about Hanikam, which is one of the best selling patterns of Kokowawa. Um, I think that's the moment when I released Hanikam is the moment that I felt like the pattern company was a pattern company because people really, really loved it and people still make the dress and people still buy it, which is amazing. I love that sometimes I feel like I should be releasing a pattern each month, which of course is absolutely impossible for me. Um, but um, so I'm really happy when I see that you guys buy patterns uh, from you know old patterns and someone suddenly discovers Coco Wawa and they love something that they see and they buy it is it's amazing just to see that at least um, you know those designs are still making you want to you know sew and, and do something so um, yeah that that really makes me very happy um, so honeycomb it comes as a um, it can be a shirt or it can be a dress and I'm gonna show you first the shirt version which is here really cute so it's got uh, both versions uh, got a stand-up collar you've got a front button pocket so that's something that you can learn the shirt version lots of threads in here I don't know coming from where the shared version, this one is a little bit old already, I feel like the, I released this pattern in 2018. Um, so yeah, some of the samples, I think they are still fine, but you know, this one feels a little bit old, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, this one, the blouse or the shirt comes with a peplum, which is really cute. It's got princess seams and then you have a panel here, of course, on the side and I added some ties so you can make it closer and more fitted if you want to. And the back has a joke as well um, to, you know, make it more interesting. You have some dart uh, at the back. And um, yeah, this is the main in design uh, for the shirt and the dress is, the, and of course you have three sleeves options. So you have the short sleeves, you have three quarter and then long sleeves. And uh, let me show you the dress version. I have lots of Hanikam. So this is the dress version and it's the same. The only thing is like, of course, instead of the peplum, you've got the skirt and is joined to the bodies with gathers in the shirt and the dress. Again, the ties, princess seams, everything, joke, uh, the, back, the back darts and then in seam pockets. And then for the sleeves, another option that you have to finish the sleeves. So you have the sleeveless, I think it's the three quarters. I'm live so I just realized it's sort of sleeves as sleeveless and then uh, this cute way of finishing your sleeves which of course you can just do maybe folding and that's it or maybe you can add some uh, elastic but you can also do some cute bows on the sleeves if you want you know to pair with the bows of the ties and yeah this is the dress version with long sleeves it's super nice and cute and I really love uh, this version uh, it's made out of uh, linen and also you have as well uh, a little bit of gathering at the top of the sleeve for easing um, then we've got the other main version which is the sleeveless that you can see here and for the sleeveless uh, I say on the instructions that of course you need to change um, the gap uh, of uh, the armhole because uh, if you don't add the sleeves it can be very gapy so I have like a little bit of a tutorial just telling you how to do that and I also tell you to finish the uh, sleeves when you know like the armholes when you don't have sleeves with bias tape which is looks pretty nice and the same I mean the rest of the of the um, uh, like main themes are there and this fabric is a lovely like viscose beautiful that I really love back joke again darts everything is the same 
and uh, so those are the three versions i will show you the other version a little bit later so these are the three versions of honeycomb and um i think that regarding techniques this is a little bit of uh, a more advanced pattern which is great i think if you really want to step up your game and do something else uh something a little bit more involved you know something more difficult so you will learn whole front button placket the stand up collar then if you don't do sleeves then you will learn how to uh, apply bias binding if you do the sleeves then it will be setting the sleeves then you will also learn the um, technique of you know how to do princess seams which is something that comes with lots of designs and then you will add the side ties as well you will learn the inseam pockets gathers how to attach bodies and skirts so lots of things there are going on the dart so i think this is the dress that you make when you are like okay so i've done a few dresses already but i really want to do something more challenging this is the one that you go for i think it is still fine for advanced beginners to be honest um, and if you go slowly, you will have your tutorial on YouTube, you have your instructions as well, you have everything, it will be perfect. And I think that the technique that I like the most from this pattern is the uh, back joke because you added using uh, the burrito technique, which is something that you will find in the instructions and on the tutorial as well. And it's just a way to attach your joke. Of course, you have one piece here and with one piece on the inside. So everything, all the seams are concealed and uh, here as well. And it looks so nice on the inside. It's beautiful. So um, you will learn as well that technique and it is really nice. And I think you will find it in many other patterns in the future. So all these things that you will learn here of course, you will apply to many other patterns. It's not something that you will learn here and then that's it. No, you will use them uh, on many other patterns from many companies. So I think that's that's always a plus. Um, so those are the techniques. And regarding fabrics, um, I think that if you do a spring and summer, which to me is the, my favorite type of honeycomb mm, moment of the year, uh, you can go for viscose, rayon, linen, double gauze, chambray, um, cotton, um, seersucker, uh, lots of lots of them. I mean, many, many, many fabrics and they will have like different results. I think you can tell already how the linen is more static the design. This one is much more floaty. This one is double gauze, so it's like softer. So, you know, you get like all those type of um, effects and then for autumn and winter go for um, um cordura needle cord uh, you can do brush uh, wool uh, brush cotton as well um, you can even go for denim i think now that i'm thinking about it i might make a denim version for myself for next autumn and winter because I just it just came to my mind um not like a very thick denim of course but you know like a medium denim I think that would look really nice so I think I might write that down to make a denim version of Hanukkah. um and then I wanted to show you because I love how you guys make so many amazing hacks of the Coco Wawa patterns and so this one is one that the lovely Atia from the Bright Blooms on Instagram. Uh, she made this version adding ruffles to the princess seams. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, so I need to make one. What can I do? Um, so yeah, she made this beautiful, like, this is not the one that she made. I'm sure it's a hundred times better than this one. Um, but she made like this hat with adding the ruffles and I thought it was so cute. So I got this fabric. It's some sort of very light cotton from CU at 6. And uh, yeah, I really like this version. I think it's really cute. And I finished the uh, collar. Ah, in this case, this is another thing that I didn't do. I didn't add the stand-up collar. So I just finished the, the top with some bias binding because I really wanted to do something different. And on this one, the sleeves, I just left them like this so that was it uh yeah so this is the version and honeycomb which is something i'm really happy about comes in two size ranges so i'm gonna leave all the info on the description box so that you can check so it's one of those patterns that i released on two size ranges so yes that's that's so nice and you will see also some links for the pattern itself inspiration and more about the pattern itself 
uh, more info. Um, so yeah, that's it for uh, Honeycomb. I didn't want to do this video super, super long because then I start talking and it's blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, hopefully you like the video and I think the next is going to be about my spring and summer sewing plans. I don't have many plans, but I have a few. So I think I'm gonna show you soon the fabrics and the projects that I want to, the things that I want to make for spring and summer. I have all the things they are waiting that I'm not sure if I will be able to make them, but uh, they are there. So hopefully at least a couple of those that are like in between, I will be able to, to make as well. But yeah, I think the next video will, will be that. Uh, before I do the um, pattern of the month's May pattern, which is the maple dress. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and a little bit of an insight, you know, uh, to know more a little bit about the patterns of March and April. And I really hope that you are well, that you're keeping busy uh, or not, to be honest, just keeping yourselves happy. And yeah, I will see you very, very soon with some spring and summer plans.